I'm going to show you the best repeatable way to make money in Starfield. It's pretty quick. You don't need to go to anywhere specific, sort of. I'm in a killer city and we're going to be using the mission board to make what we want appear. What we're actually after here is contraband now. I just kind of accidentally already pressed on there. You are looking for any mission where you are hunting down outlawed ships. This can be ecleptics, pirates, anybody that happens to come up. So I don't want any of the rest of these to be fair right now. Could do a survey, but we don't want that. So make sure you grab these. Now, the more of these you have grabbed at once, the faster this is going to be so i'm going to use just one from aquila city as my example but if you go to places like new atlantis or all of the other settlements that are across the universe in this game and there are more than just the four kind of main ones like obviously you've got neon city new atlantis and the key there's also uh some from like sidonia like there's, there's mission boards all over the place okay so the more you have on at once the quicker that's going to be that's because we are going to need to obviously dump off the uh, main thing that we're after here which is the contraband in between kind of loading up on the missions so if you just go out and do one that's obviously going to be less effective than if you've got 10 go get those 10 done and then go sell the contraband so anyways we're going to go ahead and jump to wherever that pirate is and once we get here, the aim is to disable the ship, okay? Now, I have something that's going to help me with this. I'm going to try not to blow this up because this is a bit low level. So I'm going to strip its shields off. Excuse me, stop boosting. Right, so we need to take its shields off. And then we're actually going to use um, EM weaponry, okay? So these do little damage. But as you can see, they're actually going to start to disable the systems on the ship. Now, if you want to do this a bit faster and you have the skill unlocked... We can obviously go ahead and use the target locked. Oh, I accidentally blew that up there. I didn't mean for it to go down. I guess because we shot it while it stopped. Okay, so with round two, I can demonstrate that once we're locked on, if you have the perk unlocked, which is... Let me get it up here on... If you have the target control systems, when you're locked on, you can press the button. Obviously, for me, it's X on the Xbox. Uh, and that's kind of, kind of like slow down time and allow us to target the specific area that we want obviously we just need to press future joe here just cutting in to show that you use the left thumbstick to change which part of the ship it is that you are targeting there we go once its engines are down obviously go ahead and dock and then once all the enemies are cleared once you've obviously boarded the ship you can obviously go ahead loot everything but what you specifically want to keep an eye out for is the contraband now they don't always show up in the scanner from like a distance like the uh, the pirate does for example yeah just make sure you keep an eye out for things like this look so you can see it's got the yellow on there now once you have like an inventory full of this and you saw on there that's worth like 12k right the biggest issue is if we go to like a good upstanding area that is going to trigger us to be um arrested so what we need to actually do is make our way over to this system here called Wolf. You see this is actually between Narian, Sol, and Elf Satori here. Make sure you don't enter into any of those three systems because you're going to get scanned, right? So if you have to get a bit closer from wherever you are, come out somewhere like Shakarov or something like this so that you can make your way to the Wolf system. Once you're here, you want to make your way over to the den. And once we're docked and entered, we can come over to this guy here on the left, the Trade What's Authority. The and this dude will purchase yes, your naughty, naughty merchandise. And bam! Made a nice bit of money. You'll also get good XP doing this as well, because you're going to be completing quests. Hope that helps you out, and I'll catch you all in the next video.